Triple Judge and the plot thickens in the Detroit Land Bank demolition investigation. The federal government used search warrants when it went into the land bank's offices a few months back, gathering material into alleged wrongdoing in the city's demolition program. Business editor Rob Maloney live in the city with the latest on where things stand tonight. Rod? Well, Judge uh, Circuit, Wayne County Circuit Court Judge David Allen uh, used some less than flowery language from the bench, highly unusual. But he was telling the feds, hey, let's move things along here. 25 years, I'll make a trip to the parole board. At times, Judge David Allen has given to the colorful. Today, though, he surpassed himself and used language we can't on television. He said, quote, expletive or get off the pot, end quote, twice. It's in response to activist and convicted felon Robert Davis's freedom of information request to see what's in the federal subpoena. I'm very grateful to Judge Allen uh, for being a great judge and being a man of the law and uh, making the right decision. Davis knows firsthand the contents of investigative subpoenas often contain a list of the things the FBI is looking for. So that the citizens, not only the city of Detroit, but in this region can truly know the background of this investigation, which I believe involves the mayor of the city of Detroit, Mike Duggan. The feds are looking into the demolition contracts led as part of the city's rebound. Craig Folley is the land bank spokesman. I can't really speak for the judge and, and what he was thinking, uh, but I, I can say that we've been fully cooperating since the very beginning in this investigation and we'll comply with his order. Although it's the feds who claimed opening the subpoena would hurt the investigation, the judge isn't buying it. But Folley tells Local 4 he is not worried. The federal government just released another $40 million to us to continue Detroit's demolition program. Now, that program has taken down 11,000 homes, which is an impressive number, except for the fact that you realize they have about 70 to 75,000 more to get down as a part of probably a five or a 10 year program. But uh, there are still a lot of questions to be asked and the judge is ready to move this thing along. Back to you. Well, when does it move along and when do they go back to court to see where this goes, Rod? They're due back in court on January 12th, and the belief is he may just open the subpoena right then and there. So we'll definitely mm. be there to make sure we find out what's going on. Sure will. All right, Rod.